Hey everyone, look at this. We got a brand new model that I'm getting to showcase here today for you on the channel. This is a home manufactured by Champion Homes coming out of their Dresden, Tennessee plant. And uh, yeah, I'm talking about they just dropped this model, so I'm super excited about showing it off to y'all. Let's see, we got four beds and two baths, close to 2,000 square foot. This is a part of their Altitude series. This right here is several of their homes they have set up. They've got these set up as show models. Uh, they've been having their retailers come in to look at them, place orders and stuff like that. Just thankful I got to come look at them as well, video them and show them to y'all. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, I wanna take you on a quick walk around then we're gonna get in, okay? Cause it is a little steamy here in Tennessee today. Yee. And they got the AC on on the inside. Now it's just a window unit. These, these homes have such a heat and air or whatever, but this is just for this show model here. So keep that in mind as well. So we got the back door. Okay, we do have the back door. We also have some sliding door. So we got the back door and the sliding door and we got the water faucet. We got a let's go out there below that window unit. That's really all I want to show you. I want to go ahead and circle around and get in and get on with the show because we got a lot of square footage to see. These homes are actually set up at UT Martin here in Martin, Tennessee. If y'all have ever been over this direction, if you have, drop a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Hey everyone, this video is sponsored by Champion Homes, one of America's leading builders of manufactured and modular homes. With hundreds of innovative models and retailers across the country, Champion specializes in a smarter way to build. So we got the black windows with the white trim, gray vinyl, and then check out right here, we got a little different of a, of a dormer right here. Do y'all remember the house that I did at the Biloxi show? Pop the thumbnail off of it. Same plant, okay? Obviously it's a little bit different, but just show, just wanted to show you that as well. Like, I really like to see this because I'm, I'm glad they're really trying to advance these exteriors of these homes. I think that's a big thing in, in today's time. So I'm glad to see that as we come up. So we have this different siding here on our porch. Well, I said I was going to get in, didn't I? So let's do it. Y'all be sure to drop a like if you would like to and subscribe if you if you want to as well so you'll be able to follow along with me. I go all over showing all types of different homes. Let's go. Y'all mind if I come on in? Okay, okay, thank you. I'm just gonna take a little tour, talk to some folks as I'm touring along here on this uh, camera. <laughs> yeah, wow, check this out. So you walk in right here to the left. We've got us a nice coat closet, looks like what we're gonna have. Let me verify that, yes. Check out our trim. I do like the trim. Really updated, modern looking trim that we have around our windows and doors. Oh, look at this. Give you kind of a far away look at that. We'll get down there in just a minute. Every one of the houses that I've seen, have seen here have a lot of differences when it comes to, uh, like I haven't seen these pools in any of the homes or this exact cabinet. I like it, soft close. Check out our backsplash. Several electrical outlets down through here. A couple windows. We got the built-in microwave, stainless steel appliances. Huge sink.
really light color flooring and you definitely have some options on that and is this the corner <laughs> this looks just like the corner pantry but i i let me verify hold on let me get it let me get just a okay let's see well you know <laughs> it definitely is let's go <laughs> Yes, that is definitely the corner pantry. I love a walk-in pantry, as most of you probably know. We got three different racks in here, a window as well. Got it all. And it's right here in a wonderful location. We'll come back to that area. I want to mosey on down this way. So there's your great look at those sliding doors. So this should remind you a lot of that other house I was talking about on the exterior because I remember it had this same fireplace set up in it. Totally different floor plan, but just remember that. All right, let's go ahead and start looking at some bedrooms. So yeah, four bedrooms. Looks like, I was gonna say they went with this in all the bedrooms, but no, they got carpet in some of these other ones. But in this room, they went with the same flooring. This is on the front section of the house. You got these white walls, you got this light flooring. It's just bright in here. I love the square sinks and I love this shower tub combo piece. Look at this. This is just a really updated, looks really modern looking. It's just got that square design to it, kind of like the sink. And I like this, probably my favorite shower tub combo I've seen maybe ever, but especially in a long time. Can y'all see what I'm saying though? Like it's just, it's got that very nice contemporary modern look. I like it. I like it a lot. It goes with the rest of this house for sure. Back this way, we got two more bedrooms. And then we got some uh, coat hangers, backpacks, stuff like that, whatever you'd like to put here. Let's go ahead and hit these bedrooms. So yeah, both of these have carpet in them. Got some vents overhead. And this bedroom is going to be off the back section of the house.
What do y'all think? And let me hear from you. Maybe mention some things that I don't really talk about. Lots of windows here off the back. I mean, if you count the sliding doors, but the sun's actually over on this side, but you can still, but you can tell it still really lightens this house up. And then once again, just all these lighter colors really looks uh, light and bright in this house overall. So down here, I think they called this, uh, let's see. What did they call this? It's not, it was on that, it was on the outside. I think it called it like a tech spot maybe. Check it out. Got a shelf on each side of these cabinets. Soft clothes, we've got some drawers. We've got the black tops in here. It's kind of like his and her office setup. And it's, it's good size. Let me come right here so you can see a little better. There you go. Before we hit the main bedroom, let's go into the laundry. So we got this door right here. Great for ventilation. Sure you've seen one of those before. We got it set up for the washer and the dryer right here. There's the back door, there's your breaker box. Get you set up there for a stand up freezer. You got your plug if you wanna do so. We look like we're gonna have our water heater behind here. And then right here is where your furnace would be. So you got everything you need here in this laundry room sink. Got uh, plenty of cabinets, got it all. Here's the main bedroom. Check it out. That's where you're gonna to wanna to put that bed. This is a nice walk-in closet. It's got every, once again, got everything you need in here. Nothing, nothing crazy overkill or whatever, but perfect for this size house. Let's uh, finish it up with the bath and y'all stick around. I will get into some information on this house and, and everything as far as this manufacturing and all, but let's, uh, let's look at this bath first. So we got double sinks. Now I'm thinking maybe these were the tops of the other bath. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking if they had it in this, they probably had it in the other bath. But we got the fiberglass tub, square sinks, beautiful shower. We got the water closet. Let's go ahead and finish it up with this shower. As we come in, we have the bench area here. Let's go ahead and show you. You can pull that down if you would like to. If you don't need it, say, got no need for that. There you go up and out of the way. One with the matte black faucets throughout this house as well to match with everything else, like they did that. 
Is there anything else that y'all like if they did? Y'all be sure to let me know. Okay, I'm gonna get into some more information. Check it out, we got some different colors in here. Uh, before we do that, y'all drop a like if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and what's that last thing? Oh, share this video if you will. Thank, not me, I'm, I'm looking at me, but I'm talking to you. It's weird, ain't it? I, I would, I probably already shared it. I'm talking about you shared. Okay, Russell, so let's get into support information on this house. Uh, but let me once again say that this home, this video is sponsored by Champion Homes, one of America's leading builders in manufactured and modular homes. With hundreds of innovative models and retailers across the country, Champion specializes in a smarter way to build. In this house right here, I've got a floor plan I'm looking at. It's part of the Altitude series. It's the Vista Vila. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, I hope so. It's a four bed, two bath, and it says 1,920 square, square foot, and it's built out of their Dresden, Tennessee plant like I had mentioned in the tour. So what they did, in case you're still a little confused, they, they set up several models there uh, at UT Martin, and they had them set up to show their retailers, the person that if you're looking to purchase this house, that you would be going through to be able to get this model, get it ordered through them, customize it the way you want. They get you financed and take care of setup and everything like that. So they had those guys, those retailers and community owners, stuff like that, come look at it, come look at these homes, place orders, that, that sort of thing, okay? But we got the grateful opportunity to video them and I got to show them to you. So right when y'all are seeing these models, they're like, this is the first time retailers are seeing them as well. I always think that's pretty cool. But for more information, there will be a link in there to help you if you want to be able to find, see about finding the retailers in that's local to you and everything with Champion Homes. So you can use that in the description. Uh, the videos on here come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. Um, I think this, this, this house as a whole, I kind of already talked about a little bit, but it's got a really updated uh, look to it that I think is going to be very appealing to most of y'all. But y'all be sure to let me know what you think, okay? Let's get an estimated retail pricing. And so with this house being set up where it was at, it wasn't at a dealership. So there's a lot of unknowns. We don't know uh, the freight charges you're gonna have from the manufacturing plant to the retailer. Cause once these homes get built, they first get shipped to the, to the retailer and then the retailer will take them and set them up on your property, okay? So there's some unknowns there. We don't know exactly the state fees and codes that has to be built to depending on where you're at. Obviously all this is gonna come with what you need for a setup and everything like that, okay? So it's just gonna be a range for you, but it will give you a great idea at the time of recording on what this particular model is going for. Here we go, right here. Okay, so there's some other houses that I've already put on, uh, the big black house on the end, it's already on the channel if you hadn't seen seen it. And then the smaller one right here beside this one is on the second channel, Collier's Homeworld, link is in the description if you wanna watch that, if you wanna check out that channel and see that video. It's one that just, just came out recently. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and step out. Hope you all have a tremendous rest of your day. God bless you all, and I will see you on the next tour. See you.